What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Haley, and as you can probably tell from the title today, we are going to be swatching and talking about Aryan Beauty's Chapter 3 launch. I just received the PR package in the mail this morning and I was too excited. I had to sit down and get ready and film, although I am in the midst of COVID right now. I'm currently on day five, so I'm feeling a little bit better today, but as you can maybe tell from my voice, I still have a sore throat. I'm a little bit low energy, so sorry in advance, but I was just too pumped. So let's open this up. First of all, the presentation of this PR package is way too stinking cute. I also have the info sheet here with all of the details. So we're going to go over each one of the products in here. I do not have the full collection shade wise but I do have every single product in the collection, if that makes sense. So in the chapter three launch, we have five brand new products. The Essential Drip Lip Oil, the Borderline Lip Liner Pencils, Everything Nice Lip Balm, On Your Collar Liquid Lipstick, On Your Collar Classic Lipstick. In the PR package, I have four shades of everything except for the lip balm that only comes in one shade. Just diving right in, I'm going to start off with the lip balm just to kind of prep my lips. I kind of have like, corpse lips right now they are so dry and crusty and lifeless from covid so definitely need a little bit of prep <laughs> component is pretty classic to what we've seen so far from Aryan beauty it is like a little twist cap and the lip balm itself is so pretty on the info sheet it says the everything nice lip balm is the go-to dewy balm formulated with lip enhancement system known to promote fuller looking lips i feel like it definitely brought some life back <laughs> into my lips it kind of feels like a little bit of a waxier formula. It is a clear lip balm, and although there was like, it looked like it had shimmer on it, I don't feel like my lips look shimmery or anything. They do have like a little bit of shine. It doesn't feel like the most hydrating lip balm I've ever used, but it does feel nice. Moving on to the next lip products. These are the new lip oils, and it does only come in four shades, so I do have all four shades. These, I feel like, is where we're going to get our hydration today, which I'm very excited about. I'm a huge fan of lip oils so I can't wait these colors are so cute the shades and scents that we have are mint condition a sheer aquatic blue with a minty and menthol scent pick and petals a sheer peachy pink with a rosy scent and chamomile raspberry drip a sheer raspberry pink with a raspberry scent and ashwagandha and lavender kiss a sheer cool lavender with white tea scent and lavender extract so I'm first gonna go in with mint condition which is this aquatic blue shade this component is absolutely adorable I love that you can see all the little bubbles in here and the wand is so interesting I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before on the doe foot applicator it has like this little metal ball I'm very intrigued I can't wait to see how this feels oh it feels weird <laughs> this is the weirdest ever because the top of the doe foot is you know outlining my cupid's bow and everything while the little metal ball is just kind of going across my lips it feels really nice it's kind of a little bit cooling the lip oil itself feels so good. It definitely has the hydration that is very much needed right now. The mint scent is super faint. Wait, oh my god, I'm stressed out. What if I can't smell? I can't believe I just lost my sense of smell in the middle of this video, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a problem. It's sweet like candy. It's not, not giving anything. Oh my god, this is tragic. Okay, what a twist. Okay, well, apparently I can't really give you much detail about the scents of these products. But, like I said, there is a very faint, faint scent to them. So... I can definitely tell that they are scented. <laughs> Please don't throw tomatoes in the chat. I'm suffering right now. All right, well, let's just watch these and see if there is any hint of color difference. Normally, like these slightly tinted lip oils don't really have much of a color payoff, but we are going to see today. I didn't 
have noticed a huge difference in color variations. I would say it's more so about the scents. You can smell them, of course. It's a very small difference, and I'm sure if you had like lip products on and like layered the lip oil on top of it, you might be able to tell a little bit more, but I think that my favorite out of the four is Pick and Petals. I think that this one is probably the one that I will use the most often. Overall, these feel super hydrating. I love how they look. They're like so pretty and glossy. This is something that you can just throw on by itself, which I will probably be doing that the most often, but you can also layer it on top of your lipstick, throw it on over a little bit of lip liner, you're good to go. And moving on to the On Your Collar Classic lipsticks. These are like the stretched out version of the Chapter 1 lipstick launch. Chapter 1, Chapter 3. There are 10 shades of these new classic lipsticks, but I have four of them here today. Ariane and Beauty did say that everything from each previous chapter is there to stay, so these lipsticks are not going anywhere. Thank goodness, because this is my favorite lipstick of all time. This is actually the shade Bubbly. It is the one that I use the absolute most often. These two kind of have the same design with the little astronaut helmet peekaboo lid situation going on here, which I really like. These components actually have a really nice weight to them, like they feel a little bit heavy, which I really like, it makes them feel a little bit more luxurious. So apparently the reason that they launched the skinnier version of the classic lipstick is because you can be a little bit more precise. Look how skinny this little guy is. Definitely a lot more room for precision here. I'm getting the very faintest of scents, so I can only assume that they smell just as good as the originals. I'm gonna go in with the shade Lingerie first, and I'm not gonna use one of the new lip liners with this because I really want to test out the precision with these. Okay, first of all, this is so creamy. The color payoff is amazing. I do definitely feel very precise. Um, <laughs> excuse me, I feel like it looks like I have lip liner on. This lipstick is, first of all, absolutely stunning. I think this is the lightest shade that I was sent, so it is a little bit darker than my usual go-to, but I think that it is beautiful. It's like a sort of like high shine to it, which I really love. The pigment in this is actually a little bit insane. As you guys just saw, with one tiny little stroke, it was full pigment, which is really impressive, honestly. So, this I am really liking so far, which, you know, it only makes sense because like I just said, the chapter one lipsticks are my favorite lipsticks. So I definitely expected this to be good, but this kind of blew me away. <laughs> Let's swatch the other three. Guys, I have to say, I am really impressed with these. The pigmentation is absolutely unreal, and I do really like the very skinny tips so that you can be precise because this like deep wine colored lipstick is normally a mess to apply without a lip liner, and I felt like it was very easy. It looks really good. I could just go about my day. <laughs> Safe to say, I am a big fan of these. I will definitely be ordering a few more colors of these. I actually did order on launch day last week, so I do have a few of my own stuff coming in in a little bit. The only thing that I did not get was the liquid lipsticks because I am not really a liquid lipstick person, but you know what? We're about to try those out and put them to the test. Four lip liners that were sent are corresponding shades with the liquid lipsticks and, you know, all the lipsticks that were sent. So I am going to pair the liquid lipsticks with lip liners 
and usually I'm not a big liquid lipstick person because I do have drier lips. I find liquid lipsticks to be drying and uncomfortable, a little crusty, so that's normally why I don't really buy or wear liquid lipsticks anymore, so I'm very curious to see the formulation of these and how they feel, how they apply, so let's get into it. I'm first going to line my lips with this lip liner in the shade... Harmony's hip is really nice and skinny. This shade is really pretty, like a very nice natural nude. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So the bottom actually twists up. And then you get more of the pencil, which is amazing. I hate sharpening lip liners. These are kind of my favorite. So I'm really happy with the little twist up option. Now I'm going to go in with the liquid lipstick in the shade Hottie. This is like a nice brown nude. I like the little doe foot applicator. Very pigmented. It feels extremely lightweight. Also, this color is really pretty. Okay, first impressions, it is super lightweight. It does not feel like I'm wearing anything. There's a hint of stickiness. I'm going to let it dry down for a few minutes and see how it feels then. Okay, I've returned. I watched an M. Chamberlain video. I gave it time to dry down and it is fully dried down. When I'm speaking, I'm not aware that it's on my lips. Like, I can't feel it, but when I do press my lips together... You can feel it a little bit more. I will say that it is one of the lesser drying liquid lipsticks that I've tried, so I do appreciate that. It does say on the little sheet here that it lasts up to 16 hours. That is a long time. It's also described as hydrating, but I personally would not describe it as hydrating. It just feels kind of thin and lightweight. And while being thin and lightweight, the color payoff is really nice. It has really great pigment. This color in particular is stunning. I do feel like a hottie while wearing a hottie. Aryan Beauty is really doing something with Chapter 3 because as a self-proclaimed liquid lipstick hater, I gotta say, I'm impressed. I would probably wear this shade. It looks really pretty. It doesn't feel bad. If you're somebody that already likes liquid lipsticks and wears them often, I think that you'll really enjoy this formula. with the liquid lipsticks is I actually really like them a lot more than I thought that I would. The applicator is really cool, like that little doe foot applicator. The way that it swipes on the pigment, it feels really nice and it's just like one easy swoop. Um, you can also be a little bit more precise with the applicator as well because it does kind of have like a little point on the doe foot. They're just really pigmented, they feel nice and lightweight, and they're not overly drying for a liquid lipstick, so I will say that I really like them. Same with the lip liners. I am so happy that these are twist up instead of like sharpened pencils. Um, I think that, that just makes it a lot more user friendly, very easy, nice to have in your purse as well. The pigment is definitely there. These are nice and creamy as well, so it's just super easy to apply. Overall, you guys, I really enjoyed this new chapter three launch. All these products turned out to be amazing. The liquid lipsticks are great. The lip liners are great. I love the lip oils. I'm wearing picking petals right now with one of the lip liners. Packaging is also just way too cute. So congratulations on chapter three, Aryan Beauty. This turned out absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know that I was a little because of COVID, but I appreciate you guys for sticking around and hanging out with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again soon.
Bye.